Here we have a pretty complicated looking equation that we're supposed to solve for x. And the first thing I notice is I've got an x on both sides of the equation and I've got all these fractions to deal with. I think we should deal with the fractions first. And the way I like to do that is take a look at the denominators. We've got threes and fours. So I know if I multiply by 12, all of those denominators can disappear. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 12. We're going to have to distribute these 12s. So this becomes 12 times 7 fourths x minus 12 times 2 thirds. And same thing over here, 12 times a negative 3x minus 12 times a negative 3 fourths. Sometimes it's easier when you do the math here to um, think of 12 as 3 times 4 and do the canceling. You could just take 12 times 7 and then divide that by 4. But in my head, I like to think 12 is 3 times 4. So this 4 is going to cancel. So all this is really is 3 times 7. So this becomes 21x. I'm going to do the same thing here. This is 3 times 4. The 3's will cancel here. And I get 4 times 2. And that's 8. So this is minus 8. And then over here, 12 times a negative 3 is negative 36 x. And then over here, I'm going to do the same thing, 3 times 4. 4's will cancel. We get 3 times, oh, I, I put my minus sign twice here, didn't I? 3 times 3 is 9, so this is minus 9. All right, I think I did all that correctly. Now, we've got x on both sides of the equation. So how do we deal with that? Well, we want to make one of these x terms disappear. And I'm going to go after this negative 36 just because I don't like dealing with negative numbers. The way I can do this is the same way I would get rid of any number that I didn't want on one side of the equation. I would just add or subtract depending on the sign. Here we have a negative 36x. If I add 36x, that's going to add up to 0. Of course, since I did it on this side of the equal sign, I have to do it on this side of the equal sign. So over here, we get, let's see, 57x minus 8 equals, and this is 0, so just minus 9. And now, to finish solving for x, I'm going to get rid of this negative 8 to get the x term alone. So I get 57x equals, that's a negative 1. And then I just have to divide by 57. And what I get is x equals negative 1 57th.